absolutely not. If you get one message from this talk, it is that. Do not train generative architectures on images or video. It does not work. No. Or at least it doesn't work as well as the other stuff you can do. I mean, of course, people have tried. And, and this is basically, this was at some point when Jeff Hinton started playing with backprop. Like the, the big idea was that we were going to be able to train multi-learner net to learn you know, representations, either as autoencoders or predictors. And it never, it never really worked. And it still doesn't work, right? I mean, VAEs are cool, but like, if you want to learn a representation of images that gives you decent results on any kind of downstream task, VAEs totally suck. VQVA even more. Not only sucks, but requires 10,000 GPUs to give you the answers. OK, so this needs to be abandoned. Generative architectures, don't have any predictive architectures. I think we should just drop this for high dimensional continuous inputs. It works for text because text is discrete, so you can make prediction in discrete domains and estimate distributions. That's fine. But in high dimensional continuous space, we hit this intractable uh, issue. And so there you have to learn abstract representations to be able to do things. So if we're going to work with natural uh, signals as opposed to text, we're going to have to abandon generative architectures, which is funny because everybody is talking about generative AI. It's not making me very popular among some of my colleagues, but I'm used to being unpopular. <laughs>